Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am reviewing Rocket League for the PS4. Rocket League is a vehicle based soccer game developed by Psyonix. Basically, you have cars instead of people and a very large ball. You've got two goals at either end of the arena and the arena is all closed off and has a wall around it. The aim of the game is to score more goals than the other team in one on one, two on two or four on four matches. The game can be played online against multiple players and also locally with split screen and bots. The game features a wide variety of stadiums and arenas where the matches take place. They all look cool and they are wide ranging from neon lit ones in Japan to snowy ones and more conventional soccer style stadiums. So what is the game like to play? When I first heard about Rocket League I didn't think it would work, but playing soccer with cars and a giant ball is actually amazingly good fun. It's very easy to pick up on play as the buttons are quite simple. You can accelerate, you can turbo jump and do spin moves to strike the ball. It's fast and frenetic and initially it's a little bit tricky to figure out the best strategy. You know, in the beginning you're just driving at top speed chasing the ball around, but after a while you realise you have to pick and choose your moments to attack and defend your own goal. The game has a variety of game modes. You have soccer, which is basically football, you know, you have hoops, which is like a basketball game. So instead of a, a soccer style goal, you have a large hoop. You have to sort of get under the ball to lift it, to land into the, the scoring zone. You have snowy day, which is basically ice hockey. So instead of a ball, you have a large puck. There is rumble mode, which involves crazy power ups. And honestly, I don't really know what the hell that mode's all about. It's kind of like carnage, like everyone. It's like a bit like Mario Kart or something like that. And there's also drop shot mode. There are several difficulty modes. Rookie is the best place to start, but once you go up to the pro level, things do get really challenging. You can customize your vehicle, you can play seasons offline with a friend or against bots, you can do training, or you can get involved in many different online game modes. So there are lots of things here to keep you busy. The AI drivers on Rookie are pretty average, but on Pro, they become absolutely clinical. It seems like they never miss a ball or a jump or a shot. It can actually get quite annoying as if the opponents are always perfect and in some games you just end up driving around chasing the ball and you hardly ever touch it, so it can get annoying. Overall it's a cool, fun and fast sports game that's really addictive and it's always worth one more match. And you know, once you practice this game and you play it a lot, you can really do some incredible moves and you know, you can turbo when you're jumping in the air. So you can basically fly once you kind of understand how things work. But advanced players at this are amazing. And if you're a newbie and you're taking people online and you get a, a team of real hardened veterans, you're gonna get absolutely destroyed. Visually, the game is smooth, colorful, and I didn't encounter any graphical issues. The arenas and the cars, they all look great, very bright, very bold and it's hard to really say if there's any bad point in the visuals. It's all presented very well, menus are clear, it's nice, it's a nice game to look at. The music choices work well in the game and all the sound effects and the little loud bold things that happen during the game, they really suit the style of the game. It's very kind of fun and loud and bright and, and great enjoyment. Okay, so what's good and what's bad? What's good? It's a very addictive and fun game. It's one of the best local or online multiplayer games out there. The game is fast and smooth and it's very challenging to master at the harder levels. What's bad? Sometimes the AI drivers can be too good, like they never make a mistake. Local gameplay options aren't as extensive as the online ones. Okay, so what is the verdict? Rocket League was a surprise hit for me. I never thought playing soccer with cars would be so much fun. Every match is different and playing the game with other players makes for almost unlimited replay value as no two matches are the same. It's a really good game that everyone should have in their collection for those little multiplayer sessions with your friends whether it's online or whether it's couch co-op. But be aware to master the game and become an expert will take you time because it's very very tricky to be the absolute elite player. So my score for Rocket League is 8.5 out of 10. Okay, we're done. That's the review. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. This is Photography Gamer signing off. Thank you.